Hello dear students, welcome to Karna Mass Academy. Today in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important questions, which is asked in SE 2074, in question number 24, in model question set 1, which is from our theorem of circle. Dear students, in question number 24, the question is, in the given figure, O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. AB the diameter. AB is the diameter. And DO is perpendicular to AB. DO is perpendicular to AB. Prove that angle AEC is equal to angle ODA. Prove that angle AEC is equal to angle ODA. This means I have already proved so that we can set the time. Dear students, in order to prove angle AEC is equal to angle angle AEC is equal to angle ODA. We are given that O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. AB the diameter. AB the diameter. DO is perpendicular to. DO is perpendicular to AB. And we have to prove angle AEC is equal to angle ODA. This, dear students, we need one construction join BC with epsilon by dotted line to prove angle a c is called angle o d a to prove angle a e c is called to angle o d a at first we take triangle a b c which is found by taking construction we take triangle a b c and triangle a o d Dear students, in triangle ABC and triangle AOD, angle ACB is 90 degree because angle in the semicircle is always right angle. Angle ACB is subtended by the diameter. Angle subtended by diameter at the circumference of circle is known as angle in the semicircle. So dear students, in the statement number one, we have taken angle AOD is equal to 90 degree because OD is perpendicular to AB. OD is perpendicular to AB, which is given to us. Then we take angle ACB is equal to 90 degree. Angle ACB is angle in the semicircle, which is subtended by the diameter AOB. So as we know that angle in the semicircle is right angle that means 90 degree. So we can take angle ACB is equal to 90 degree. Dear students, angle AOD is 90 degree which is given to us and angle ACB is angle in the semicircle. So after combining a statement number one and two we get angle AOD is equal to angle ACB because the measure of angle AOD and angle ACB both it is given 90 degree so by combining statement number one and two we get angle AOD is equal to angle AOD is equal to angle ACB dear students in triangle AOD and ABC we have got angle ACB and angle AOD equal. Now we can take angle OAD of triangle AOD and angle BAC of triangle ABC equal because angle A or we can say angle OAD in the statement number 4 angle OAD and angle BAC 
their common angle of triangles ABC and AOD. Angle BAC and angle OAD. Both are common angles of triangle ABC and AOD. Dear students, in statement number 3 and 4, we have got two angles or we can say two pairs of angles of triangle ABC and triangle AOD equal. So, when two pairs of angles in two different triangles are equal, then the third pair of angle, that means angle ODA and angle ABC. Also we can equal, also we can write equal remaining angles of triangle. In statement number 3 and 4, already we have got two pairs of angles of triangle ABC and AOD equal. So we can write third pair of angle also equal. The reason is remaining angles of triangle. So dear students, angle ODA and angle ABC we have got equal by taking the remaining angles of triangles. Dear students, now we can write angle ABC equal to angle AB. Angle ABC is subtended by the RKC and angle AEC is also subtended by the same arc AC. So we can write angle ABC equal to angle AC. Angles in the same segment of circle or we can write angles at the circumference standing on the same arc. So dear students, in the statement number in the statement number 6 we have taken angle AEC is called angle ABC angles in the same segment of a circle. Now if we combine a statement number 5 and 6 in the statement 5 and in the statement statement number 6 the angles in the right hand side are equal so we can also write angles of the left hand side equal that means if we combine a statement 5 and 6 then we get angle ODA is equal to angle AC we get angle ODA is called angle AC or we can say angle AC is called ODA. So this is the proof of the given question. Dear students, before we end this video, let's review the process we have followed to get the solution of question number 24. Dear students, in question number 24, we are given O as the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle, AB is the diameter, and DO is perpendicular to AB. Now we have to prove angle AC is called angle ODA. We have to prove angle AEC is called angle ODA. So dear students, in order to get the proof, that means to show angle AEC is called angle ODA, at first we take construction join BC so after joining BC we have got two triangles ABC and triangle AOD dear students the two triangles ABC and triangle AOD they have two angles equal so third pair of angles we can write equal by the property of the interangles of triangle. Dear students, so at first we write angle AOD is equal to 90 degree. AOD is equal to 90 degree which is given to us. In statement number 2 we take angle ACB is equal to 90 degree which is angle in the same circle. Now if we combine statement number 1 and 2 then we get angle AOD is equal to angle ACB. Dear students, in triangle AOD and ABC, 
two triangles have angle A common that means both the triangles they have got the same angle A so we can write angle BAC so we can write angle BAC is called angle OAD so in the statement of O we have taken angle OAD is called angle BAC common angle dear students if two pairs of two different triangles are equal then we can write the third pair of angles also equal because the sum of angles the sum of inter angles of triangle is always equal to 180 degree so when two pairs of two different when two pairs of angles of two different triangles are equal then the third pair of angle also we can write equal so dear students we can write angle O O D A. Angle O D A is equal to angle A B C. The remaining angles of triangles. Dear students, now we can take angle A C is equal to angle A B C. Both are subtended by the same arc A C. Angle A C is subtended by the arc A C, and angle A B C is also subtended by the arc A C. So angles in the same segment of a circle are equal or we can say angle at the certain parents standing on the same arc are equal. So we can write angle AEC is called angle ABC. Now dear students, in the statement number 5 we have angle ODA is called angle ABC and in the statement number 6 we have got angle AEC is called ABC. So by combining statement 5 and 6 we get angle ODA is called angle AEC. Or we can say angle A is equal to ODA. So this is the proof of the question number 24. So dear students, I hope that you have understood the solution of the given question number 24. Dear students, if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel called Mass Academy, please subscribe it and also press the notification bell icon so that when any new video is uploaded you can easily get it so dear students thanks thanks for watching this video and again we'll meet in the next video with a new content till then bye have a nice day